Good morning to you. Uh, video number 24, Luther's Small Catechism with Explanation. And as usual, in the description, I will have Luther's Small Catechism, a link to that, and of course, the explanation, the link to that, which we are on. And we're in the midst of Luther's explanation on the Lord's Prayer. The Introduction. Our Father who art in heaven. Our Father in heaven, what does this mean? With these words, God tenderly invites us to believe that he is our true Father and that we are his true children, so that with all boldness and confidence we may ask him, as still dear children ask their dear Father. Question 205. In what way does the word Father in the Lord's Prayer encourage us to pray? The word Father tells us that God loves us and wants us to pray with to him confidently and without fear. 1 John 3, 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called the children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it does not know him. Romans 8, 15 through 16. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. 2 Corinthians 6.18 I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Hebrews 4.16 Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and grace to help in the time of need. Psalm 103.13 As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Bible narrative, The Lost Son, Luke 15, 11 through 32. Question 206. What does the word our impress what does the word our impress upon us when we pray our Father? In Jesus all believers are children of one Father and should pray with and for one another. Ephesians 4 6. There is one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. Galatians 3.26 For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. James 5.16 Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may, may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Question 207 What do the words who art are in heaven say about God. These words assure us that our Heavenly Father, as Lord over all, has the power to grant our prayers. Psalm 124 verse 8 Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Luke 137 Nothing will be impossible with God. Acts 17 24 The God who made the world and everything in it is Lord of heaven and earth. The first petition, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be your name. What does this mean? God's name is certainly holy in, in, in itself, but we pray in this petition that it may be kept holy among us also. How is God's name kept holy? God's name is kept holy when the word of God is taught in its truth and purity, and we as the children of God, also lead holy lives according to it. Help us to do this, dear Father in heaven. But anyone who teaches or lives contrary to God's word profanes the name of God among us. Protect us from this heavenly Father. Question 208. What is the connection between the petition and the second commandment? Both speak of the name of God, Quote, in the petition, we pray for exactly what God demands in the second commandment. We pray that his name not be taken in vain, but be used well for God's praise and, and honor. Large Catechism, uh, Article 3, 45. Exodus 27, you shall not take the no name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Question 209. What are we asking when we pray that God's name be made holy? Since God's name is God, 
as he has revealed himself to us, we cannot make his name holy. But we do pray that we would help, that he would help us keep his name holy in our lives. Psalm 103, verse 1. Blessed, or bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Question 210. How do we keep God's name holy? We keep God's name holy, A, when God's word is taught among us in, in its truth and purity. Jeremiah 23, 28. Let him, him who, let him who has my word speak my word faithfully. John 17, 17. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. B, when we live according to the word of God. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light Shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Ephesians 4, verse 1. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Bible narrative. Zacchaeus resolved to live the Christian life. Luke 19, 1 through 9. Question 211. How is God's name profaned? God's name is profaned, that is, dishonored, A, when anyone teaches contrary to God's word. Jeremiah 23, 31. Behold, I am against all the prophets, declares the Lord, who use their tongues and de declare, declares the Lord. B, when anyone lives contrary to God's word. Romans 2, 23 through 24. You who boast in the law... Dishonor God by breaking the law, for as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. The second petition, thy kingdom come, or your kingdom come. What does this mean? The kingdom of God certainly comes by itself without our prayer. But we also pray in this petition that it may come to us also. How does God's kingdom come? God's kingdom comes when our Heavenly Father gives us His Holy Spirit so that by His grace we believe His Holy Word and lead godly lives here in time and there in eternity. 2.12. What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is His ruling as King over the whole universe. Kingdom of power. The church on earth, kingdom of grace, in the church and angels in heaven, kingdom of glory. Psalm 103, verse 19. The Lord has established his, his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all, kingdom of power. John 3, 3 5. Jesus answered, Truly, I say, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God, kingdom of grace. 2 Timothy 4.18, The Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Kingdom of glory. 2.13, 2, For what do we pray in the second petition? We do not pray that God's kingdom of power would come, because that is already present everywhere. But we ask God to A., Give us his Holy Spirit that we believe his word and lead godly lives as members of his kingdom of grace. Mark 1.15, Jesus said the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Romans 14.17, the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Colossians 1.13-14, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness, and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. B. Bring many others into his kingdom of grace. Matthew 9, Matthew 9, 38. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of, to the Lord of the harvest, to send out laborers into his harvest. 2 Thessalonians 3 1. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may 
speed ahead and be honored honored as happened among you. C. You use uh, sorry use us to extend his kingdom of grace. Acts four twenty nine. Now Lord, look upon our their threats, and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness. First Peter two twelve. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evil doers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. D. Hasten the coming. Hasten the coming of His kingdom. Of glory, Philippians three twenty. Our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation twenty two twenty. He who testifies to these things says, "Surely I am coming soon." Amen. Lord Jesus, come. Two fourteen. How do? How can we be certain that the kingdom of God comes? The Lord guarantees that. It, that his means of grace establishes and sustains the kingdom. Isaiah 55 verse 11, My word shall be accomplished, that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Bible narrative, the parable of the growing seed. Mark 4, 26 through 29. The third petition, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Or, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does this mean? The good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer. But we pray in this petition that it may be done among us also. How is God's will done? God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom Come, and when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word in faith until we die. This is his good and gracious will. Question 215. What is the good and gracious will of God? It is God's will that his name be kept holy, that his kingdom come, that is, that his word be taught correctly, and that sinners be brought to faith in Christ and lead godly lives. Deuteronomy 4.2 You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. John 6.40 For this is the will of the Father, of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise it up at the last day. 1 Timothy 2, 4, God desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, for this is the will of God, your sanctification. 2, 16, whose all and plans are opposed to the will of God. The devil, the world, and our sinful nature oppose the good and gracious will of God. 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 1 John 2, 15 through 17, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride in possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with all its desires. But whoever does the will of the God will of God abides forever. Romans seven eighteen. For I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is my flesh, for I I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. Bible narratives The devil misled humanity to sin. Genesis 3, 1 through 7. The enemies of Jesus brought about the fall of Peter. Luke 22, 54 through 60, 62. Achan's sinful nature led him to steal. Joshua 7, 18 through 22. 2, 17. Why do we pray the will of God be done? 
We know that the will of God will always be done, but we want God's good and gracious will to be done in our lives. Quote, as his name must be hallowed and his kingdom come, whether we pray or not, so also his will be done and succeed. This is, the, this is true even though the devil, with all his followers, raise a great riot or angry and rage against it and try to exterminate the gospel completely. But for our, our own sakes, we pray that even against their fury, his will will be done without hindrance among us also. We pray so that, so that they may not be able to accomplish any, anything, that we may remain firm against all violence, persecution, and submit to God's will. Large Catechism, section 368. Psalm 115, verse 3, Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Psalm 43, verse 3, Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Philippians 1, 21, For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Bible Narrative the helplessness of the enemies of God, Psalm 2. The conversion of Paul, Acts 9, 1-19. 2.18. How is God's will done in our lives? God's will is done when A. He breaks and hinders the plans of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, which, is, which try to destroy our faith in Christ Jesus. <coughs> Romans 16.20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. 2 Timothy 1.12 I know whom I believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard until the day what he has entrusted to me. B. He strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith and helps us lead God-pleasing lives. 1 Peter 1.5 You, who by God's power are being guarded, through faith for, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Psalm 119.35 Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. C. He supports us in all our troubles until we die. Romans 8.28 We know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. 1 Corinthians 12, 9. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Bible narratives. God hindered the evil will of Joseph's brothers and kept him faithful. Genesis 15, 15 through 21. God will not let the devil destroy Job. Job 1, verse 1 through 2, 6. And we'll end it there for today, and tomorrow we'll get into the fourth, uh, fourth petition and the fifth petition. I think that's all that there is. No, there's more than that. I think there's seven. So we read half today, part one, uh, on the Lord's Prayer, and part two will be tomorrow. A little groggy just waking up, so hope you could bear with me. Uh, have a blessed day in the Lord. Thank you.